Hey guys, welcome back. Not the most fun and exciting, but uh, some more tow truck content. And for you tow truck guys, or thinking about getting into the tow truck business, I want to show you, I know we've done a video before, but this is one of our fleet of personal tow trucks that we use, tagged, licensed, and registered. And they're gas. And I've got some of these for sale as well. And a lot of people walk past a gas motor rollback. Here's one that's for sale. And that's not really the smartest choice. This is a four x four with a Jordan. This is a two wheel drive with a dual tech. So we use a dual tech bed for ourselves. We haul square bodies, we haul equipment, we haul everything you can imagine. This is a 22 model and we put a lot of miles on it. You can see real quickly, doesn't take long to put wear and tear miles on these trucks. We keep them very fresh. We also rent them. If you're in a flat ground area and you're running a light duty truck, such as a 550 or a Ram, there is no reason in the world not to explore these gas motors. This particular one, when we change the oil, cost us $86. That's using proper spec fluids and a Ford filter with the labor. When we service this same truck with a diesel, it's close to 200 bucks. We could spend much less to service it with it being gas, but that's using everything from Ford. So one, your service cost is half. Usually it's about a third actually. Then on top of it, if you happen to break down, it, let's just say you blow the whole motor up. It's gonna cost you a third to a fourth what it would cost to fix a diesel. If you get a bad batch of fuel, you replace the fuel filter, maybe a few injectors, big deal. You get a bad batch of fuel in a diesel, it's gonna cost you probably a motor. It's gonna definitely cost you fuel filters and injectors at the worst, and a fuel pump probably. And you're talking six to $8,000 at a minimum. And we just did that for a customer that actually had somebody put DEF fluid in their fuel tank. I think his bill was over 10 grand. And that was because they drove it. So it screwed up the injectors, it screwed up the lines, it screwed up the pump. Uh, and hey, he's probably gonna have other issues down the road, you know, God forbid, unfortunately, but uh, we didn't do it, he did it. And we just helped him out by getting it back going again. And, uh, you know, pump, injectors, flushing out the tank, filters, it's a lot of work. Another gas motor. And again, you guys can buy what you want, we got both. We sell gas and diesel all day, every day, but this has got a Kylar bed, a whole nother generation. This is a 15,000 pound bed. That's another 550 gas motor. If you're in the hills, if you're in the mountains, it's not as good. You probably do need a diesel truck. Probably not gonna make it with a gas, but if you're in flat grounds, I sell a lot of them to Florida. I sell a lot of them to Texas. Uh, a lot of them sold around here, but we do have quite a few in stock. I think I've got three white, two yellow, a blue, black, and might be an orange one around here, but quite a few different colors. Some new, some used, very slightly used, and some more higher miles. And when I say new, new to us, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400 miles, some have a thousand miles. That's a diesel, but another 550, very nice looking truck. So a little update on our tow trucks today. Then of course, medium duties, everything's on the web. There's a gas motor Ram. A drop axle international. Cool Kodiak. Got three of these in stock. Two of them are four-wheel drive. But there's one of our personal ones. It just came back from moving a square body. This morning it uh, had a 59 Corvette on it. Had a piece of equipment on it the day before. Had this on it the day after that. So no problems. Does a good job. We love it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for some more tow truck content. And don't sleep on a gas motor. I think you'll be fairly happily surprised at how well they do. Davis Auto Sales in Richmond, Virginia. Route 1, North Chesterfield.